How's it going today, guys? We're um, going to do a quick unboxing of the Fataba 16SZ radio. Um, this radio's been out about a month or two now. Um, great price point for this computer radio. Um, it's a step up from the 14SG. Not quite an 18SZ, but pretty close. Um, and it's on sale right now at Fataba for um, $6.99. You can get it at towerhobbies.com or your local retailer. So let's open this puppy up and see what we got here. So this one is the airplane edition. Um, comes with the 7008 SB receiver. Um, this one's mode two. Um, it comes with the Nikomoto high drive battery. So let's dive in here. Let's see what we got. So when you open the radio, you're gonna be greeted by the um, nice manual that Fataba has put together. Um, this manual covers God, an abundance of things from dual rates to telemetry to helicopter menus to S bus to converting the radio from mode one to mode two. I mean, it literally has everything you could ever do with this radio right here in this pamphlet for you. Um, so definitely keep this. And if you have any questions, you can always refer back to this. Um, also comes with a, just a little standard Fataba neck strap, nothing major here, kind of a small little lanyard like deal. Um, this radio also comes with the 1800 milliamp uh, Nikamoto Hydrite, six volt. Um, compared to the 18SZ that comes with a life battery, this one comes stock with the Nikamoto Hydrate battery. You can put the 18SZ um, life battery in here, and I'll show you here in a few minutes in my, um, my personal radio, we have the life battery in it. So I'll, I'll show that to you here shortly. Um, let's break into here. So here's what you're greeted with. Um, comes with a 7008 SB receiver. So just your standard, you know, Fataba high-end receiver here. Um, S bus capable, S bus two, and it's the fastest technology. So we'll set that to the side. Also comes with a just a Fataba standard wall wart charger. Um, do not, if you upgrade your radio to the life battery, you do not want to use this charger. Um, this only works for the Nikomoto Hydrate battery and then like a receiver, Nikomoto Hydrate or an ICAD battery. Um, so if you upgrade to, to the life battery, do not use this. Just toss it to the side. Also got just a standard um, lightweight Fataba switch. Um, voltage out to the receiver, voltage in your switch, and then your battery checker there. So we'll set that to the side. Standard Fataba poker tool, best little tools you can ever have. They're on the um, handles on all of my radios. So if you ever need to use it for anything in your radio or even for the heli guys, this is great for you guys, especially if you're using the 750, um, the CGY 750, you can actually use this to poke and change all your settings around in there. So great tool to have. So guys, here's the radio. Um, standard just mode two version um this is also the great the thing i like the most about it is the radio is all black um it's kind of got a matte finish to it um all the aluminum is always of course shiny but um but it's got a nice matte black finish to it um i personally really like it um so just to go over a few items on the radio you have your standard trims and if you have an 18 SC and you're looking at this radio maybe as a backup radio, you'll notice a few subtle differences. Um, and to start with the trims, there's actually, on the 18, there's two trims up here. They're actually not there. Um, but you do have the same two dials that you have on the 18, which are great for a variety of things that you may want to use them for. Um, you also have your two sliders, one on the right, one on the left. Um, and you also... Just about every switch on this radio is a three position switch so you can do triple rates on just about all of these switches so these two are triple rate switches um these two are triple switches and these two are triple switches also this one is a momentary switch um which you can use for an assortment of things like a bomb drop um if you wanted to or to hold your if you had an aurora light system or something that you could hold your lights on with um, also, this two-position switch, this is a two-position switch over here that you can use for landing gear or even a bomb drop or a, gear, or a bomb door or anything that you may have for scale or for jets or anything of that nature. Um, standard swivel antenna on this radio. Um, what I was saying earlier about poker tool being on the handle, actually, perfect place for it right there. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in this thing and get it cranked up. 
something else I also want to point out on this radio is um, takes a standard SD card. So if you have, you know, your standard SD cards for cameras, you're going to have to format it. But just I, what I use is a SanDisk um, SD card. This is actually an adapter and it has a micro um, SD card. So if you have like an Inspire one or a Mavic or something at home, you can use these these same cards. You just have to get a little adapter for them and they fit right in on the um, SD card slot here. Sorry. There we go. So I'm gonna leave the case off the bottom of this one for a second, but we're gonna go ahead and turn the radio on here and you get greeted by the awesome color screen that it has here. It's also touch screen. Um, so you have several things um, up here. You can have your um, receiver voltage and external voltage, like if you had it on a flight pack or something. Um, that's intended to show your signal. Um, you have two separate timers here, which are perfect. Um, you'd see it's 6.7. I'm running the Nikomoto Hydra in this one. Um, it shows which version of fastest you're on. So this one is on fastest 18. Um, you have an airplane menu, which takes you into things like servo monitor, your condition selects, your dual rates, mixes, um, things of that nature. Um, under the linkage menu is actually everything you're going to need to really set up your, your airplane to get it everything all set to zero. So you got your subtrim, server reverse, endpoint, servo speed. Um, you can also go in here and change the system type, which is the variety of different modulations that it, it transmits in. Um, so you have your um, um, telemetry, fast, or FHSS, you have your standard um, S, uh, FHSS, you have your fast seven channel, your fast multi, your fastest 12 channel, and then your fastest 18 channel in here. Um, if you go into the system menu, you can change, mess with the display, um, volume, system timer, you can do range check from here also. And also the really cool part is you can do all the programming for your S bus servos here. Um, so if you go in here, you have a variety of things. Also, so while, while talking about the S bus servo to be able to program it, on the back side of it is a trainer like port. Um, so that's where your trainer, um, your buddy box cable goes into. And then right here looks just like a standard um, extension plug, more or less. Um, this is what you'll stick a servo in to, to program it. But what's different about this radio compared to the 18SZ as in, is in order for it to power the servo, you actually have to use like a Y harness or an S bus terminal hub or something so that you can power it as well. Um, so that you can actually program it. Um, something different, the 18SZ, can, you can just plug the servo straight into the back and start programming it. But on this one, you actually have to input power as well. So what else can we go over on this thing here today? So like I said, just a, an all around great radio. You can't beat the price for it. I mean, it's $699 and you get a full um, telemetry S bus capable receiver. It's just a, it's the best value that you can get on the streets right now. Um, I have in my personal radio, which is this right here, um, only changes I've made is I put blue sticks on it, which are Fataba, but I actually ordered them from overseas. Um, and I also put in the, the life battery from the 18SZ, and that's gonna be your um, 2100 6.6 .6 volt life battery from Fataba. You can actually order them on tower right now. I think they're about 80 bucks, um, but great batteries. You can, I've charged this thing and flown it for two or three weeks at a time without charging it, no problem. So just another little added thing you can have there. Um, so yeah, guys, just a quick unboxing for you to tell you a little bit more about the radio. Um, I've also got a 14SG here, and we'll put it next to all of these. So you can see it's it's theoretically the same case, um, just the touch screen, and just a nice cleaner looking radio. So guys, if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comment section and I'll get to them as quickly as I can and get the answers out to you. Thanks so much.